this is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the 12 rounds gym in Clapham today. Joined by Callum Miles. How are you doing, Callum? Yeah, I'm good, thank you yourself. Yeah, good, thank you. Um, yeah, just thought I'd pop by. I was in the area anyways. Get you boys on. Um, tell us a bit about your amateur career, Callum. Uh, Box of Fitzroy Lodge in the amateur career. Uh, I won two London ABA titles, got to the national semi finals twice, two years in a row. Boxed all the top kids at my weight, really. Box a number of GB champions, number of national champions. Yeah, I had a good amateur career. Yeah, and um, what was the decision to turn pro? Like, how did it come about? When was the right moment for you? Well, I, 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 I had some. I was, obviously, I was boxing in the amateurs, and then I was getting disheartened with it, to be honest, because I kept boxing, boxing the same people over and over. And I thought I wasn't getting my opportunity. There was a boxing England kid, beat him. And then he got picked to go on England again. Oh, and really? I thought it was a bit unfair. So then I spoke to a good friend of mine, Bradley Ski, and uh, mm. and then that's what made me actually go pro after chatting to him and whatnot. Yeah. And then I decided to make it turn over, and then yeah. Just getting a bit tedious then. Yeah, really and truly. Yeah. yeah. So you've had one fight, haven't you? I had one fight as a yeah. pro, yeah. Yeah. And you got your next one on in uh, November. In November the twenty fourth, I will go go again. Where's that? Uh, Yuko. Okay. On the Goodwin show, so hopefully you make it go two and over there. Yeah. Yeah. And when did you link up with Adam? I don't know about this. I've known Adam for, for a very, very long time. Um, obviously, he used to do my matchmaking as an amateur. So we've always been in contact and whatnot. Uh, I was down the eye box gym, as I say. Certain things I, I decided to change. Mm. I'm, I'm friendly with everyone down there and made memories that I won't forget. But I thought it's time to have a change. I've got a little one, so it was too far for me to travel anyway now. Just my missus has just had a baby. So... It's local to me, it's around the corner. As I said, I've known Adam, we've got a good relationship. So yeah, I decided to go with Adam and everything's running smoothly. Yeah, how's it been down with the boys here? Yeah, no, it's wicked. Like, I, know, I know a lot of the boys from the amateurs. Jermaine Brown's from the mm. same amateur yeah. gym as me anyway. So we knew each other. I knew Jamie and Adam and all that from the amateurs, as I say. So yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. That, yeah. like, we all get on, we all have a good laugh and we all get down to work when it's time to work. Where about she live then? I live in Battersea, I'm from Battersea. Oh, yeah. So, as I say, it's, it's on my doorstep. So Not I'm too far, far at all. Better. Yeah. Obviously, you've only, you've only started your professional career. Um, you've got your second fight in November, as you said. By the end of this time next year, where are you looking to be, Callum? I leave that, to, I leave that down to my team, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's, that's, that's what boxing's about, is having a team. All I focus on is I fight who they put in front of me. I make sure I'm doing my training on it, on it, in the gym and on the outside. Because a lot of boxers think, a lot of people think, oh yeah, they're in the gym training. It's not about just what you, what you do inside the gym. It's all about what you do when you go home and you leave the gym and you're away from your coach. It's about making sure you you're putting your runs in, you're eating the right meals, you're drinking the right amount of fluid. Obviously, a lot of people don't see that side of it. But so I just I'll leave that down to my team. What they put in front of me, I'll take and I'll do the business and. Go as far as I can. You mentioned when you leave the gym about discipline with the runs and, and the yeah. meals, etc. Is that just purely down to you? Or does someone manage you, etc.? No, it, it's, it's down to the boxers, you know what I'm saying? You get a lot of boxers that train unbelievable hard in the gym, unbelievable hard, then go home and forget about the gym and, and go and eat rubbish, for example, and not put in the runs and don't live the life, go partying. It's boxing. It's not. It's not just train hard. Like you got to train hard, but live the life away from the gym. So for me, that today I trained this morning, mm. and uh, I trained this morning. Went home, had food, and at later on tonight I'll go and do my run, uh, and that's that's my routine until fight night. Now I'll train twice a day until fight night, and there'd be no excuses if I get beat on my on the twenty fourth of November. It's simply because I wasn't good enough. Because I've done everything I can mm. in training camp. I've put my runs in. I've eaten my meals. I've got my rests in. I've put the rounds in in the gym. So there's no stone unturned. But a lot of boxers forget about that. They just think, come to the gym and train. And go home and just be lazy and doss and eat rubbish. Yeah. So you're leaving nothing behind when you get in that ring, basically. What are you saying? It's basically, yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. Because it's been a whole year since my pro debut now. And obviously, I, I feel like I've wasted a long, long time. But I had to do that for certain reasons. As I said, my missus was pregnant, so I had to step up, make sure I could provide for everything for my little girl now. And now, now everything's running smoothly. I'm back, and it's time to it's time to get people start talking again, get my name back out there, and start putting on shows. Do you have another job? Uh, at the moment, I, I'm I'm just training full time. Full time, yeah. Yeah. Okay. As a, like, 
it's hard for boxers, especially when you've got to sell tickets, which that is what I have to do. I have to sell tickets, but I, I've decided to give everything to boxing now. I train, as I say, I, I'm training twice a day. I, I, I'm just going to live the life and see and see how far it can take me. Do you know what I'm saying? And I can look back, because boxing, I've been boxing for years, so when I look back, I want to make sure I said, yes, you know what? I've done everything I can. If I make it, uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. But if I don't, then I, I can look back and say, do you know what, I'll give it a good shot. Well, listen, Callum, good talking to you today. Um, what can people do to get tickets for the 24th of November? Uh, you can get on my Instagram. It's at CallumMiles98. Also on Facebook, Callum Miles. Uh, yeah, come and support it. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you all there, and I will come down and spend time with you after. Thank you. Okay, Callum, thanks for watching IFL TV. Best of luck on the 24th of November. Cheers, mate. Thank Stop you. Man.